Welcome to another episode of Behind the Dreamers with the Starter Girls. I'm Jennifer Loading. And I'm Brianna Drellas. And we are talking to the achievers, the dreamers, creators, and the magic makers. These are our friends. These are your friends. And they are living the extraordinary. Today's episode is brought to you by Walt Mills Photographer of Glad Models Agency. If you are here in the Dallas or surrounding area and looking for some photography work, check out Walt Mills. You can learn more about him and his work at photosbywalt.com. Yes. All right. We're back in the lovely staycation here yes. in Richardson. We like this place. We I do like this like place. It. Yes. Yeah. We are, this is part of our local element. We're doing this once a month, finding a local spot to broadcast our podcast live. Wow, that was a tongue twister. I, I, it was good. It was good. <laughs> All right. We have Ashley Kinney here today, which I'm super excited. Welcome to the show, Ashley. We are so excited to have you here today. Thank it's going to be fun. Me. All right. So, Let's let our audience know who she is because she has a lot of cool things that she's doing. So <laughs> Ashley, let's see, relationship builder, entrepreneur, and artist are adjectives that describe Ashley Kinney. She uses her gifts in photography to help her clients look be beautiful and feel special. And I know because she did my photos. WFAA recognized Ashley as one of the best photographers in Dallas. And most recently, Alignable selected her as Northwest Dallas Best Business Person of 2021. That is out amazing. Out of 86,000 votes. Yeah, that's incredible. That's awesome. <laughs> Ashley said she fell in love with photography when she was 16 years old. That same year she met her husband. She's the owner of Kinney Studios. And together, she and her husband own Your Web Guys, which she's got her logo on her shirt. Um, she's also involved with several nonprofits here in the Dallas area, and she works with small businesses as part of DFW Business Accelerator to help them brand, connect them with trusted vendors, and provide them resources. So, Ashley, welcome here. We're so excited to have you. Thank you for having me. She has so many things that she does. Yes. I'm like, what do we talk about first, right? She has so many great <laughs> I things. I was just thinking the same thing. Yeah. So actually, I think let's work, let's kind of backpedal this a little bit. You said you fell in love with photography at 16. Let's talk about what led to this creation of this studio. What inspired it? That is a really funny story. Long story short. <laughs> 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 um, so back in 1990, I wound up taking journalism. I had an uncle that took journalism and he was a great journalist down in Florida. He was always in the scenes. I loved that. It was just intriguing that he would speak to people and get stories and get to know the back information. And I tried that out and that didn't work out so well. Um, so I went into photojournalism and I loved it. Um, of course, my instructor thought that I was like the next Dansel Adams, wound up getting publications, decided I wanted to actually be around people. Um, I, my mom was single, so I wound up with not a lot of social time and I wanted to see people. That's, that's how I wound up making them smile, shot my first politician and shot my first wedding whenever I was 16, and wow. they were paid gigs. Uh, got my first publication, of course, because uh, Ed Harrison became a congressman running for office. He did not win the election, but I did happen to win the campaign photography gig because the photographer didn't show up and it was for newspaper publication. He was making his announcement. The photographer didn't show. Wow. So that's how I got that. And uh, from there, I went on to study at UTA, but I became a nurse because back in the 90s, I wasn't popular as a female to be a photographer. Sure. All the ladies need to break ground on that, and, and it's been really successful for a lot of women now. Um, but I, I uh, interned under a lot of world-renowned photographers and loved it. Everyone said that I needed to have a good stable paycheck, so I became a nurse for 11 years. Wow. So I have empathy, sympathy, nurturing that I blend in with my love of photography and just kind of bringing out the genuine person and, and not something sterile, but the real person. Yeah. And that's how that started with Kinney Studios. And we needed a place to live close to the Boy Scouts. And we found a place over in the small town of Red Oak, opened our studio. And um, that was because literally there was an apartment and below was a yoga studio that had closed down the weekend we moved in. So it wasn't planned. And uh, the owner said, you know what? I've always wanted to have a photography studio down here. 
and of course your web guys was in the same facility so it was kinney studios and your web guys separately at that time and then over the years we've kind of blended and really it's more of a focus of your web guys and yeah. kinney studios is included within it i love it well and you do do great work thank you i, I can i can attest to that because i've used absolutely <laughs> yeah it's so fun you definitely need to take one spot from where she said just the clip that says yeah. I, I started shooting politicians. Oh, yes, I know. That was so cute. Yes. Like that. Like, yes. Can you guess what she does? Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, Ashley, I don't know. I, I know Ashley's been following our work, and she's probably seen some of the stuff that I'm doing. Like, I'm clipping some of the funny pieces. I don't know if everybody likes it, but the audience likes it. So we clip it. But we always say to go back and see the whole video so they know who you are. And, and Ashley is amazing. She's just a great, great heart, great person. So that's cute. Thanks for pointing that out, Flo. We'll make sure we get that in there. Got MST3K piping in. That's right. That's right. Flo doesn't have his mic today. He said he wasn't going to talk much, but I don't. He, he likes to chime yeah. in every once in a while. We can't keep him quiet back there. So fun. All right. So you mentioned you were named, or we mentioned this, best photographer in Dallas WFFA. I mean, how exciting is that, right? Mm -hmm. And so tell us a little bit about that again. I think you kind of touched upon it, but was this a big thing? Like, did you go through like a process or did somebody just like start nominating you for this? Yes. So that's really funny. And the same thing with Alignable. Um, I don't actually put myself out there for that, and I'm pretty humble, you know. Sure, right. Um, but we're just lucky and have good karma and, and believe in other people. And so for that, people in turn nominate us for things. Um, the WFAA, so that was something that we were nominated for, and it was just client reviews. It was hilarious because it was like, why is my name coming up on the internet and it, this isn't my site who is this that's using my name and my studio and i thought it was just someone that was stalking or it was just some kind of an error another ashley kinney because there are lots of us lots of people named ashley kinney i'm ashley kinney 16 by the way on facebook <laughs> and i know how to find you i know it's crazy <laughs> um so it, it's it's always nominated yeah and um that was the same thing with alignable um, people that i network with and have helped then they want to say instead of a reviews and they'll say thanks by nominating me for something and i'll usually open an email and go what bogus stuff is this yeah and then i'll wind up with some crazy award again <laughs> how, well, how exciting <laughs> ashley congratulations it's thank so you awesome. she's so humble too and she's such a great connector like she, i feel like ashley just knows a lot of people too she's like another one she knows a lot of people and people love your work so i think um what I want to ask you is, you said a lot of things about bringing people out and just, you know, like your empathy and being caring. What do you love about the photography world? What is it for you that's keeping you in that? Because you're still doing it. Okay, so education is a big deal. That's why we've got Business Accelerator, right. Kinney Studios. What I started doing and I absolutely love, and this is a benefit for your web guys, so all three of the companies melded. And I really, really enjoy teaching people how to photograph as well. What I'm finding is people are using their camera phones or they're using cameras that they bought and don't know how to use. So I've started doing workshops to actually teach people how to use their equipment oh, because wow. people don't have enough time to become a photographer and they need little basics. So I'm teaching that just as foundational skills and that's the educational part. The other give back is I'm starting back up with our bliss outs where we're doing pamperings once a month, your web guys at the studio. And sometimes people aren't like you and I, and they're not comfortable in front of the camera. Right. And so I will actually do images for them for their headshots. But before that, they'll have doTERRA where they can make their own roller balls for anxiety for the okay. essential oils. Yeah. The whole little champagne or wine with some catering mingle in a comfortable atmosphere first relax get a facial afterwards i'm getting excited I'm listening excited. to this oh, <laughs> okay. yeah. when's this happening ashley <laughs> february 18th yeah, like, when's this happening i'm like getting excited listening yeah. to this is this the next accelerator that you were talking about no What's this is different it's the week before week so before. it's not this weekend but next okay. weekend february 18th 6 p.m your web oh. guys i'll be sending out the publication yeah, here get it to us and we'll put a note out for it so 
I just want people to be pampered. They're all stressed right now, and I haven't done it in two years. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm excited for you. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about, and don't laugh at me, have you ever thought about a mini course or online course for the photography for these basics that you're talking about, basically putting your workshop in um, five video course format? Sure. Actually, that's one of the uh, big things that we had talked about. Our big focus is education this year. So many people just don't know for web design, for photography, for business, and bringing that all together. So we're starting to do little two-minute videos on what you can do to help your business, what you can do for photography, what you can do for web design. And on that, that same note, by the way, for pampering, then we always do boudoirs around this time of year to help with mom and dad, Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's. And we kind of do it a different way, really to focus on people's mental image and so that they can bring out themselves, but their best way. And sometimes it's that we're such harsh critics until we see something on film and then we really can appreciate who we are. So it's about the give back, nurturing and workshops on that part too. And we're really focused on all of those things. And we will have some videos coming up. We started on some of those already. That's terrific. I like how they have everything connected. So tell us real yeah. quick about the, your web guys. Tell us what you guys do there. Because you do have all these things that you're doing are overlapping, which I think is really good for branding. Yeah, I think very smart. You guys are working it. Thank you. Um, so your web guys is one simple way to put it is... Richard thought it would be hilarious to call it a web slinger, you know, Spider-Man. Why not? But (laughs) that's the geeky boy in him. I've got all boys at home. Right. Um, And the only way that I can describe it is your one-stop web shop because it's web development, hosting, maintenance, photography, image, brand, and it's all consultancy, but not just consulting you come out with product in hand and it's not raw product it's finished it's developed it's photo ready everything is hands-on so Mm -hmm. i would say we're more of a consultancy we're not graphic designers we're actually targeted on sales for the average business person small to medium-sized businesses not mom and pops that are growing and just before they have to hire their own web development team we're there in that space in between Hmm. that's very specific yeah Yeah, she's got it all together yeah that's great and and those d i've been to one of her dfw accelerator events and so tell us real quick our listeners a little bit about that because i i think that is a really neat deal that they've got set up for small business owners to come in and really get them connected to people and take some of this stuff that she just talked about into that space for them I was actually just messaging um, someone this morning. It was really strange. We had our launch party last night. It's for anyone that's published their website in the past 30 days, and we'll do a press release party and cater, smooch, um, network, and and just enjoy each other's time. We had 20 people come, um, which it's growing. It's kind of crazy. Business Accelerator last time had 30 people. I'm excited and don't want it to get much bigger because we want that like connection, Um, but it's strange how coaches and coaches and speakers and financial advisors and uh, vendors that are starting new companies all come together. We've got speakers, three of them, one's mindfulness, one's a business coach, then there's our keynote speaker that has their main topic. I know Jennifer was amazing. I love how she was writing on the board because I'm so hands-on and visual. And um, then we have our pros that are experts. Um, I do headshots at a hugely discounted rate because I don't want to see people with their camera phone and actually really making sure that they have professional images. Uh, Just because it works on your phone doesn't mean that it's good for print. Right. 72 DPI versus 300 DPI, a huge difference. Um, And if you want something on a billboard, that's not going to come from your phone, people. Right. Right. (laughs) Let's clear that up. (laughs) I know. I've had that question. Yes. It is crazy that people think about that. Um, 
Also, we've gotten uh, Doreen Malona, that's a pro, and she's talking about your net revenue and worth and bringing that in so that you can save money in your business and where to allocate funds. Um, I know Jake is actually helping with the engines of your business. Um, Richard does the website health check to make sure, just like you have kiddos, you have to have a website health check to make every thing in line. There's so many people that have 404 errors or 401 yes. or 405 and they don't even know what that is. Right. Or sometimes they'll buy a domain and that they think you buy it once yeah. and they'll let it expire and then they lose everything. Right, right. So um, then of course there are vendors that we have. There are, there are the small businesses that are usually starting out and they don't even know what networking is about. They don't have a brand, they don't have an oh, image. Yeah. And so we have vendor tables so that they can go in and they can do basically their presentations and, and show people what they're about. Sometimes it's their very first time they've ever had a table in their lives. Yeah. Um, so that's exciting because they're small businesses that are growing. And of course we try to highlight a caterer because 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on the fourth Saturday of each month. Yeah. Um, that's a great opportunity for caterers that were going under during COVID. And um, we allow them that opportunity so that they can promote their business and people don't pass out because they're not starving. <laughs> sure. Wow. Yeah. It's awesome what she's doing. I mean, there's just a lot of overlap between everything. But the big thing that I, when I think of Ashley, she is a she's a relationship builder so i think of community and and like i don't even know before we were even like met i don't even know where we met but like i already knew about you before go to chow was that where it was uh -huh. okay she's good she remembered yeah. you're good you are good <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like I, I know i know ashley i don't know where i met you ashley I, it was somewhere networking we were networking somewhere. we were at jeremiah yeah, that's right event. that's right yeah. that's right okay but yes everybody knows who you are and i think that's awesome ashley you're doing some good things that's so great oh, well, and sorry let ahead. me jump in real yeah, quick no go ahead uh, I noticed, or we read in your bio that you also, on top of, you know, the little that you do, you <laughs> also are involved with nonprofits as well. I so I would love to hear a little bit about those nonprofits. So our big purpose, uh, Richard and I, we come from scouts. We both come from single mom families. And it's, uh, that's a tough one to bite off whenever you have a single mom and not just on mom, but on kids. And um, so Boy Scouts was a huge part of Rich's life. He's an eagle, uh, great troop. We owe a lot to the Boy Scouts. Uh, go girls, they're in now, by the way. Um, I'm, I'm one of the oldest Boy Scouts, by the way. Oh, the, fun. Since I was 19, I have the card wow. that says I'm a Boy Scout. That is so awesome, Ashley. I did not that know this about incredible. you. That is incredible. Yeah. Found out something. Yeah. New. So I love that um, Boy Scouts is my number one. I'm actually, again, helping out, and I'm the Cub Scout Roundtable Commissioner for the district. Um, Richard is Cub Master, Assistant Scout Master. I'm the advisor for the venture crew, which is co-ed age 14 to 21. And um, so boys and girls of all ages can really learn how to hike and enjoy camaraderie. His best friends still are from scouting. Oh my goodness, We have wow. five friends nationwide. It doesn't even matter that we had friends that moved to Japan. We were still in very close contact. Um, they don't even live close by, but we're still very, very good friends. Wow. Uh, treasured vessels I hopped on with um, yeah. five years ago and started helping them. They actually didn't have headshots at the time. That's Alicia Bush, right? Mm -hmm. She was a featured guest on the Starter Girls podcast. So yeah. we did talk to Alicia. I'm not sure you were with me no, when I don't she came so. on, but I do know Alicia mm -hmm. and her organization is amazing. Yeah. Um, I knew uh, Beth Watson and Abigail Hours, and Beth actually said, you know, we need headshots. So they came to the studio, and it was before they had headshots. Wow. So it, it's kind of amazing. Um, there are a lot of different organizations like Seneca that does the mindfulness. Yes. We had Seneca on too. Mm -hmm. Amazing yeah. guy. The Kamir experience, yes. is that yes. right? Yes. The human development, the Kamir experience. and It's really cool. 
Yeah, we actually had Moni G, which is actually through working with Seneca. Him. Yes, I've seen so a lot of their. She performed at oh. Husband Sense Accelerator. Oh. I just referred her out, by the way, about five minutes ago. Very good. Awesome. Mm. See, you gotta have the right people it's in your network, cool. right, Ashley? This is good. I want to ask you a question because you obviously you've been in the entrepreneur game for quite some time now and you guys you started in your, pho your photography you're still doing that you got this web guys with your husband going you created the DFW accelerator what has been the biggest challenge for you in this journey like what has been I guess the thing that has been yeah the challenge but most difficult for you work-life balance and to say mm. no mm. because we started we have enjoyed each other's lives we're always together so rich is at work with me we're at home together we're raising our family we do the nonprofit together um he wasn't on board until a couple months ago but um, you influenced like, yeah, him you got i in. did i do the brain influencing too that's, uh, that's my yeah. mary Kay lipstick awesome Look thanks marie um so it, it's kind of crazy the work balance um especially with aging parents we waited a long time to have kids. i was 31 for my oldest and 35 whenever i had my twins and um I guess sitting still is a big deal. I don't do it well. Um, whenever I was on bed rest for four months for my twins, yeah. Um, with that pregnancy, it just about killed me because I had to sit still. I hated it. There was some way I always want to keep going and moving, and I guess um, that's probably the biggest thing to turn my brain off at the end of the night yeah. and to remember to. To take care of me because I'm always taking care of everyone else and I love it and I take great joy in it. Right. It's what keeps me going and and when someone says that they aren't doing well and um, I know that I can help them. Um, I was a nurse for 11 years. That's what I went to school for, and um, I know how they can really pull the life out of you. It was very draining. Yeah. Um, because people don't always want to get better and that's whenever we actually opened up the studio in 2004 my neurosurgeon dr. Payne actually provided the funding for us to start the studio Wow and um, he said you know what I'm gonna retire you've done a great job and um, I believe in you so here's a great severance pay please you have so much talent open your studio it was that day that i was going to oh resign my God, what a gift i know i'm finding out all this stuff about ashley today that i didn't even know i was going to resign that yeah. day but i was quiet and respect is so important and instead he said you're doing a great job and it's time for me to retire of course that was after the patient tried to drive through the window of the office the day before oh my God, and that's one of the reasons that he was retiring yeah wow um, so I take great joy in making people smile whether it's connecting or giving them a photo and they get nervous or uh, just so that they can have a boudoir instead of pulling out their imperfections see their beautiful silhouette or their face or so that they can focus on something good She's giving me like chills. Oh, it's very <laughs> Listening cool. Listening to her, she's like painting. I'm seeing these pictures that she's painting. It's Ashley, you're awesome. You're, she's so you. she's a kind person. She's always doing great things and giving back to the community. And in the networking circles that I'm in, I mean, she is always. I feel like giving the positive positive energy to everybody, which I think oh. is so awesome because a lot of people don't get that. And as solo entrepreneurs, I think I've shared with you that, you know, I've always had mentors. So I've, I've been fortunate enough, enough to have people in my corner. But I think as entrepreneurs, we don't have that a lot. You know what right. I mean? And so they don't get a lot of people going, hey, you got this or hey, I'm supporting you or how are you doing over there? Sure. Yeah. She messages me a lot to ask me how I'm doing oh. a lot. <laughs> She'll be like, how are you doing? Are you taking care of yourself? We know that I am. We should say, are you taking care of yourself? That's good. I think that we all share that that whole thing about coming down, like settling down. And and honestly, I was talking about this off camera because I'm having this procedure done on Tuesday. My biggest fear is not the procedure. It's the after. It's the down. Is there going to be downtime? Am I going to have to stop moving? Am I going to be Rust. able to get back up? You know, and because I'm like you, I don't like to sit still. 
I have one tip, and it's the best tip ever. Give us the tip, Ashley. So remember, I told you my oldest is about to turn 15 on mm -hmm. February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day, because I was too stubborn to go on February 14th. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like the on-call doctor. Yeah, gotcha. Gotcha. She's like, I'm old enough. <laughs> I'm old enough. So Insight Timer. Mm -hmm. I do have Insight Timer on my phone. That is awesome. That was a tip that I learned from Katherine Erickson. Uh, she was actually in Women Helping Women's mm -hmm. Network with me. And that's a really cool thing that I've given to my kids now. Mm -hmm. And they'll get stressed out. They're, they're tweenagers and teenagers. And, and I just tell them to breathe. And I'm like, okay, let's pull up the insight timer. So you're going to have some downtime right. you know, from your procedure. So yeah. make sure you do your insight timer. Yeah. Maybe connect with Seneca. <laughs> yeah. well, I study transcendental meditation. I think I shared that with Seneca. Yeah. I studied that back when I was in um, I, with my oldest daughter because we both were going through something, and I used it as a tool to force myself to take that downtime. So I am very much an advocate for Absolutely. meditation and quiet time. It's just we don't need it for days. We don't need it to go on for days and days, you know. Mm -hmm. Right. Time. I'm good for a little bit of quiet time, but we got, you know, things to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I had like a question I wanted to ask her. We got off on meditation. How did that right. happen? <laughs> it's like it's going to come back to me. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have one for you. Advice for anybody starting out as an entrepreneur. Maybe somebody wants to get in and do to take up Ooh. photography, whatever. I don't know, but what tips would you get for give to someone that wants to start a business? Make sure you know yourself and your core values because that's the foundational skill, not just for your company, but your life. And people give a lot of advice and they have big mouths, mm -hmm. but you know what your moral is, you know your foundation, you know your gut. And if I had listened to the tons of people on Business Accelerator that said, why would you give up money to start the nonprofit with DFW Business Accelerator? It wouldn't be here. Mm. Mm -hmm. So trust your intuition. And yeah. Don't listen to others. And don't just take the money. It's not yeah. about the money. No. It's about the give back. Yeah. I would agree with you on that. And you have to be okay with what you're doing. I think the core yeah. value piece is, is extremely essential into what you're doing because so many people, we just had this conversation. And the, the other one. So many people do, they don't know, why, don't know why they're doing what they do, and so, and they're not really feeling fulfilled at it, and it, they don't understand that doing that, the end result is they're not working effectively, they're not going to be making the money they want to make, they're not going to be happy, it's not, it's none of it's going it. to work. So you've got to get back to why you're doing what you're doing, and that aligns with who you are, your core values, and when you get in alignment with that, the other things fall into place. It's true, it's Good easy stuff. to follow the money, it's easy to say this contract is here this is stable this is a paycheck but is that really what makes you happy because money's not going to make no. you happy and does it it's like does it yeah. hit that sweet spot does it align with your gifts and talents and passions and and what you like to offer and what people want right right, right. right. yeah exactly this, this has been, been fun. I know. Let's do some quick rapid okay, fire. Okay, right let's here. do it. We got to do some fun rapid fire. This oh, has been great. Actually, okay. we got to do the. This is my. This <laughs> is our favorite part. It's the yes. rapid fire. I think. Okay, I know because we. The challenge is, can we actually make it rapid? Yes. Like, can we do it rapid? Can we you know, make it? Rapid? Can we make it rapid? So, I'm not witty, so I. You don't have. It's just. It's supposed to be just okay. simple answers, yeah, but okay. we never. We just. We I know it every time. So it's hard for us to stick. You to start. It. Okay, I'll start. Okay. Favorite place to travel to. Florida. Panama City Beach, Florida. Mm. Awesome. Okay. Favorite food? Oh, there's so much food. <laughs> oh. Halo see. Top. Halo Top. Halo Top. Oh. Oh. Halo Top ice cream. Mm. Mm. When you have extra cash in your purse, what do you like to shop for? <laughs> Sam Moon. <laughs> <laughs> she had that one down. <laughs> like, down. Okay, I'm going to ask the music one. First concert you ever attended? Oh, 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 he was a short, curly headed guy. Richard Marks. Richard Marks. <gasps> oh, I love him. Yes. Rich, I used oh to have my Richard gosh. Marks CD. He's the best. I, I won free concert tickets mm. from the radio station. That's incredible. <laughs> this one, that's one of my favorite questions because we can like date people when it's we so do good. that. We find, out certain, we find out some really interesting things when we ask that question. Yes. <laughs> okay, bucket list travel spot. <gasps> oh. I would love to go, this is lame, really lame. I would love to go to New Orleans because of my family roots, but I actually mm -hmm. haven't got to explore. Oh, oh. 
Very wow. cool. Very achievable, I know. All right, very yes. cool. Yes, very mm -hmm. achievable. All right, last question I'm gonna ask you. What's in your Amazon cart? In my Amazon cart? <laughs> oh, uh, more hair. More hair? Because <laughs> that's not mine. Nope. It's so By good. the way, it's, it's so fun. 13 bucks on Amazon. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> I love it. She's so cute. It's awesome. She's um, so cute. So there's that. Oh, and people keep stealing my kids' pencils, so I put labels on them. Oh. I, I have... I have <laughs> so your pencils in your Amazon cart right now? More pencils? Uh, labels. Labels. It's labels. 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 Labels for the pencils. That's good. And see, vitamins. And vitamins. Did see, we find out some really yes. things about people. We have not had anybody say labels yes. for pencils. That's, that's a new one. Or hair. Or hair. We haven't had that one either. This is good. Okay, I had a purple wig arrive to my house yesterday. Oh, did you? Yes. Are you going to wear it to one of our shows I'm next going, time? Maybe. Yeah. She's going to come in with That purple. might be a little crazy. So, was it on purpose? It was on purpose because I I am going to a Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras. party. Ah, yeah. We need to see pictures when this purple Oh, it's going to be in. amazing. We, yeah, we need to see the pictures when it comes when you get that. It's going to be. Incredible. I didn't make up the New Orleans thing. I had no idea you were getting Well, when I was about there. I was in New Orleans <laughs> last spring break and we had a really great time. So you definitely need to get there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right, Ashley. So if our listeners wanted to come check you out, where do we want to send them? You can go to www.yourwebguys.net. That's Y-O-U-R-W-E-B-G-U-Y-S dot N-E-T. Awesome. Okay. We'll make sure when we get it out that we tag you and we have the website in there so our listeners can find you. Okay. Absolutely. And check Thank out her so upcoming much. events. Yes. Too. February 26th, we've got Business Accelerator. And then February 18th, we have got the bliss out. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. So nice to meet you. Thanks for being on the podcast today. Thank you. Check it's out. very nice to meet you. Awesome. Yes. Thank you for having yes, me. Yes, don't leave yet. We're not done yet. Oh, well, All right, and to our listeners, we just want to say thanks for listening to our show. If you love what, what we're doing here, please give us a rating both on iTunes and Facebook and hit that subscribe button on the YouTube. And we mm -hmm. want to leave you with a parting thought. This one is from Anonymous. <laughs> I couldn't help myself and it's very relevant for you okay taking an image freezing a moment reveals how rich reality truly is that's good that was cool that was a good find thank job, you job Brianna Thanks. pulled that one all right and to live the extraordinary you must start and every start begins with a decision you guys take care be safe and be kind to one another we will see you next time